And now I have with me Chun Yen, all the way from the far away place of Penang. <laughs> okay, not, not that far, not that far, not that far. Now, I love Penang and I think, uh, you know, Singapore and Penang, there's a lot of um, similarities in a sense, you know. We love food. Both food haven. <laughs> I was just about to say, we love food. And I especially love your game. Oh, okay. Right, so the five foot way and it's called? Kaki Lima. Kaki Lima. Yeah. And when I saw the pictures over there, it reminded me of the time, like, all these many years ago that I was in Penang huh. and so I do have some family that were okay. from Penang and so how long I, were you in Penang? oh that was a long long time ago okay. I think it was cold. the last time I was there was 98, 99 so I'm dating myself right now oh okay <laughs> well, not, yeah, probably not too far from me <laughs> <laughs> so what's the inspiration behind Kaki Lima? Mm, well I guess the Kaki Lima itself mm. uh, I, if you, I mean if, if you remember walking around the streets of Georgetown mm. Uh, not really streets, but you, know, you have those five foot way archways yeah. that you can go through, and every every arch, archway, uh, every five foot way is like slightly different, you know, because of you know the the paint, the tiles, the different. So, so I guess you know when you go through, it, it feels somehow magical in a way, uh, yeah. Mm. and yeah, I guess it, it inspired me to make the game. Also, the the idea of uh, you know. They use that to walk around. You didn't have cars and all, and they used to, to keep out the rain, keep out the sunshine. Uh, but now, you know, there are some parts where you have to walk into the road, and it's a bit dangerous. You know, so so and another thing that we were thinking about when we designed the game is about the accessibility for pedestrians as well. Yeah. And one of the things that I like about your story, especially when it comes to the game, is how you actually developed it. So it's all through your phone camera. Yes. Uh, yeah. The the visual part of the game. Uh, because I originally I was doing an example for a board game design workshop uh, for a youth arts camp, and I wanted to show them that you could just use your phone uh, to design a game or the cards for a game, and so I just you know went around and took photos on it. And then you just did it in the best possible way by actually publishing one, <laughs> and now you're here. Yeah, yeah. So after that, we you know we we took it further and we decided to. Uh, publish it now, yeah. But we still use the same uh, photos or uh, visuals that we took with the camera. Now. So ev everything, except for the pedestrians and the scoreboard. Uh, so everything else, the visual design is based on the photos that I took. I think that's amazing because when I looked at those photos, uh, it felt very authentic. It felt very real. Mm -hmm. It's like, yep, this is what a street does look like. Uh, it captures its own essence and beauty. And what I also like is the. Well, the way the, the, the language, okay. the content, okay. the way the, the characters are positioned, and you right. know, right. this is how we talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think it was a conscious thing too, because a lot of times um, we play a lot of games from overseas, you know, and, and you, you kind of get exposed to their culture, to their language, to games. So, so when, well, my, I guess, preference to design a game is to reflect uh, our own culture of, of and what what who the people we see uh, and the things that we yeah, go through. Well, you know, uh, I love the game. Plans for any more? Uh, yes, I'm currently working on another game called Bansan, and it's um, the no Malaysian Northern Hokkien word for wet market. So okay. it will it will kind of simulate the ecosystem uh, of a wet market. In Penang. Mm. Very cool. Okay. You know, wishing you all the best Thank and you. hope you've had a great time here at the Asian Board Games Festival. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> okay. All right.